started doing poetry uh, because somebody told me it was the new rock and roll. And I, I thought, that's brilliant, I fancy that, I want a bit of that action. Uh, if poetry is the new rock and roll, then my experience so far tells me there is one thing very, very much missing from the whole rock and roll equation, and this is what it is, because... I use alerts, alive, alliteration. My metaphors are like God's creation. My similes are like waves crashing on the beach of your intellect. My words dazzle with diverse dialect. My rhymes reflect a soul that's no despair. I use allegory and analogy to lay my nature bare. I've even done a love poem to show how much I care. So if poetry's the new rock and roll, if I'm the new poetic Axl Rose, then I need to ask if anybody knows where are all the groupies? Any in? I've done sonnets on behalf of the shoeless. I've parodied the politicians to prove they're clueless. I've challenged the social order to protect the weak and frail. I've reminisced with an old folk tale. I've won the veil of eccentricity and all things odd. I've strutted on the stage like a rock god. I've walked the path that Weller and Strummer trod. So if I write the words of the people croon, if I've got the rhythm of Keith Moon, then please can someone tell me soon, where are all the groupies? They said if I could write a monologue, I'd be guaranteed a decent snog. They told me poetry was all the rage, and I'd have women queuing up backstage. But all of this performing sent me loopy, and I haven't seen a single flaming groupie. So I think it's clear, somebody lied to me, and women aren't turned on by punk rock poetry. But I'm having one more try just to prove I'm not a cynic. So I'll book myself a gig at the sex addiction clinic. I can't find a woman there, I won't get one anyway. Thank you.